I first started, I was out working with the crew of pruning and I kept hearing the phrase Ojo Brioso kind of yelled across the vineyard. And I kept asking the guys like, what does that mean? And they're like, oh, it's, you know, it's like good catch or something like that. And I sort of wrote it off as like, oh, they just say it every once in a while. Then they started saying it more and more and I started hearing it a lot. And I started to realize it meant more than just like kind of good catch. Literal translation is like brilliant eye, shiny eye, but almost as like a, kind of a congratulatory or like a way to give somebody like respect for what they were doing out there. So sometimes it was like, you know, somebody would be pruning and stop and say, oh, hey, you know, person on the row over, uh, you missed something right there. You got to come back and prune that. And you'd be like, oh, I hope we also. It was just like a recognition of, of what everyone was doing. I have a few years of experience managing vineyards, but every time you step into a new vineyard, you don't know anything about that. You may know how to like manage vines in general, but every location and every site and every type of vine is completely different. I tend to lean really heavily into the people that I work with, try to learn as much as I can from their experience. So pretty quickly what I was learning is we had really great people on our crews. Um, some of them with more experience than likely I will ever have. You know, one person had been there 20 years at that vineyard. That's kind of how the Ojo Rioso concept came about was, how do I take all of this like innate knowledge that they have, and to be honest, like passion for the vineyards, how do I transfer that into, into a program that, that kind of showcases that and highlights the work? And for me, one of the ways that I, I felt like we could recognize them is, is to showcase the work that they do by putting their work in a bottle that they can go home and say like, I had something to do with that. Because because oftentimes in, in the vineyards, like you're out there working every day, um, everything's changing and you're just moving fast. And at the end of the year, all of a sudden harvest is over and you're like, all right, and you move on to next year. And so for me, I thought it would be a really good idea to take take the three supervisors in each of the vineyard and have a lot of experience uh, at each of those and say like, look, I want you to experience this from the very beginning all the way through to when it's bottled. Um, and to do that, we had to give them sections that, that were theirs. So we set out with uh, three Pinot Noir sections from each vineyard for each supervisor. And basically just said like, Go for it. You know, when it comes down to harvest, I want you to be walking those rows with the winemaker and helping you decide on what it should be picked. It took probably 10 seconds when I was explaining the program to him. I'm like, okay, so you got a couple months, think about where you want to go. And one of the guys is like, block 22. I mean, you can think about it. He's like, no, block 22, block one, and block 15. Francisco is like super detail oriented and he's really driven about like how the vine should look. I want it to look like this. You know, he's the person who, who goes through and like removes every other shoot to separate it out. And, like, wants it to be perfect. And Hector, Hector's like a, he's like a bulldog in a way, like just in, in general. He's very much like, I'm gonna go out there and we're gonna get it done. We're gonna do it this way. Ready, go. And so for him, like picking the blocks, he was like, well, over there. And I was like, why? And he's like, it's better. And Jose's. This is kind of a mixture of the two, but he's honestly, uh, he's very mechanically minded. He's very methodical about it. Uh, sometimes kind of like data driven, but at the end of the day, the blocks and the areas that we picked, although like stylistically were kind of like the same idea, ended up being like drastically different styles of wine. Their ideas can translate into high quality products. And I think the only side effect of that has been that they express more about what they think is the right thing to do. And we are always making better decisions because of it. 